All right, guys, this is Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm. And uh, we're here in the shipbuilder today with my midnight run ship. Uh, several people have asked for me to do an in-depth build guide. Uh, I find it funny. The one video I didn't really do a build guide for turns out to be my more, most popular video. And I get several requests to do a build guide. So we're going to go through this as quickly as possible. Um, so here we have it pulled apart. Uh, this is the main core of the ship. You will start with a Stroud living quarters, two by two, uh, in this position. And then you will attach a storeroom or a companionway, whichever one you choose, uh, directly in front of that. Then you will uh, stick a two by one hab to the uh, starboard side of the two by two living quarters. And then directly behind that, you will put a another two by one uh, hab of your choice. And then behind that, another companion way to uh, finish that out. Uh, this companion way is optional. Um, I have it just because I originally uh, had the docker uh, in the rear, but that's what it's there for is sometimes I feel like the dock, or excuse me, the landing bay needs to be in the front. Sometimes I think of it in the back, uh, but that's the layout with the main uh, habs that you will do. Then you will have two cross passages on this rear uh, uh, two by one hab going into uh, a starboard and port side two by one halves. And that is the basic layout uh, for the entire ship. Of course, I do have a landing bay. It is an NG6 landing bay, but any of the uh, bottom loading landing bays can work here. It's really up to you what your flavor is. Um, and then behind that, I have all of my gears, which will be NG20 landing gears, and you will need six of them. I believe you can get away with five. I just went with six because I liked being able to fill out uh, the sort of animation when it takes off. And you will arrange two of them on either side of these uh, port and starboard halves that you have, and then two directly behind your landing bay underneath the uh, living quarters. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go, starting in the rear, we have our engines. You will have two Amon Dunn, Dunn 71 engines, and you will attach them to your perspective uh, grav drive and uh, reactor, which I probably should have went over these. You will plop these down here in between, in this little space here between all the halves. Um, I have a DC-403 reactor here and a, a NG-340 grav drive here. Um, they're interchangeable. There's no, no rush to get them. You can put them anywhere you want in that arrangement, but they go, uh, your seven, Dunn 71 engines attached to that. And then you will have three of these SAL 6830 engines from Slayton Aerospace. And you will clip that directly to this hab. And then you will put this one uh, just, you can't put that one on yet. It requires some of the cowling to work. But you can clip that one to this uh, other hab on the other side. And then of course we have some Stroud Cap A's that go over those halves. And then I am using some Nova cowling to go along the side of each of these for decoration, just like uh, this. And that is attached just like so. And uh, what you will do here is you will take these two Demos hulls um, and you will put them uh, just like this with uh, this uh, companionway underneath it, and you will attach your final SAL 6830 to those structural pieces. And of course, we have some decorative uh, Demos bellies aft that I clip a snap up underneath these uh, Dunn 71 engines, just like this, just to make it look good in the rear like that. Of course, there is a window, but that is completely optional. Um, and so you will start to, uh, you can add some of your Nova cowling. Your first Nova cowling you add is going to be uh, between these two halves. And then, of course, between these two halves here, just on that side like that. And then uh, 
This is where, this is a bit of a variation of the original. Um, I snuck in uh, a little more cargo space on this build by moving one of these structural pieces. It used to have four of these and now it has three. And uh, so you'll be able to add your cargo here. I now have a Galleon S204 cargo hold in the middle and uh, two 40T Sextant Shield Systems car hauler cargo holds uh, to the starboard and port side of that. And then what you can do is you can take this final structural piece and you'll snap it right there just like that. And then these pieces, the Demos spines, um, they just go along the top of the engines back here just like this to really decorate them up, make them look good. Pretty simple. And then what you will do now is you will attach uh, these uh, to your cargo holds. These uh, Nova cowlings go on the cargo holds along the sides of the structural pieces. And the reason you do that is the big change that I did make was I added uh, a different set of gas tanks uh, from the original build. Uh, these are a little nicer and a little more forgiving with their clipping and it allows you to uh, hide your uh, shield here underneath the gas tanks and I'll show you that here in a second. You can take this little bulwark shield from the Vanguard shield and snap it right underneath those two tanks and it's a really nice uh, thing that you got going on there. And then we have some more Nova cowling that goes right across the top just like that. Covers up our shield and our gas tanks so you'll need one, two, three, four of those pieces um, and these are all just variants uh, of this nose cap. Uh, so then we have two of these Nova braking engines that go underneath the uh, the Nova cowling here like this and this is where you have to play around a little bit with this uh, build. You can add a companionway underneath and then uh, this uh, DS40.2 Aries bridge in order to get it to stick because it won't stick because there's a little bit of a clipping issue. All you need to do is add a companionway underneath, clip it to that and then duplicate it. And then you can add it to that and then delete those two pieces and then re-add your uh, landing bay like that. And finally, we do have uh, the Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors which is uh, my favorite weapon in the game. And uh, you can use six of them. I use two uh, along the top of that, and then I use uh, four uh, along these uh, Nova cowlings that you see here, just like this. And there it is, guys. It's a pretty simple build. Uh, it just looks more complex from the outside than it is. Great speed, great maneuverability, Decent, even better cargo space now than the original design. Um, wonderful ship. I'm glad you guys really like the Midnight Run. I do have a Class B variant of this ship that I will be putting a video out uh, for some of those uh, that don't have access to Class uh, C uh, parts just yet. And I have built a Class B variation of this ship. So uh, make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for coming along. And I'm really glad you guys really enjoy the Midnight Run as much as I do.